Mark, the top line looks okay. I, we can talk about that in a moment, but I'm really interested to talk to you about what is happening in the middle and what is happening with this cost story. And, and we're seeing some signs of stabilization at a relatively elevated level. Is that where these costs stay? Do they start to come down? Just give me some guidance on how sticky this inflation is. Yeah, so I think it's quite sticky, a uh, guy, and, um, and, and complicated by the global supply chains. Uh, you know, the world is still not one world anymore. And, uh, and, and, and also, there's a, the inflation, I think, is going to be around for a while. I mean, if you just look, Wall Street looking for lower costs, more, more sort of um, vitality in the economy. The Fed very clearly pointing out that they're a bit concerned still about inflation. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, I think, um, you know, this is a, a long, uh, a gentle slope that we've got to manage. Well, uh, Mark, hey, it's Alex. It's great to see you. Um, I was talking to Hello, an oil Alex. producer last week who said that we're still going to see 20% inflation. We're not going up anymore, but we're certainly not coming down. Can you give me some insight as to the number that you're looking at for inflation and where the biggest stickiness is? So I think that right now the the current inflation figures are <coughs> are probably there to stay for a while. Uh, you know, a lot of it's driven by the oil price and how the oil producers manage supply. Mm. And 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 again, we've seen these very hot summers. You know, air conditioning and the consumption has been higher. And as we go into fall. Uh, in the northern hemisphere, we'll get an easing of the, the the fuel price. But again, what's winter going to look like? And it's a very tight market, as you've seen. But it's been quite resilient. We haven't seen it uh, go as high as I thought oil would go. But the rest of the consumables, the general cost of living is is not coming down as quickly as everyone would like it to. And and so you know and. Commodity prices are, are, are under pressure yep. because the costs are high. Mark, let's just talk a little bit about what you're doing with your business. Um, it was reported that, that a while ago you made a bid for First Quantum in the copper space. Are you still looking for copper assets? Is copper where you want to go? And how do you maintain the balance, if that is the case, between being a gold miner and a copper miner? And which one of those is a priority for you? So uh, I've, I started the last first guy, and that <laughs> is um, the, the priority is tier one assets. So I think we've discussed this before. Um, as far as gold goes, just to put it in perspective, this last quarter we had the highest, we experienced the highest blended gold price for a quarter ever. Mm -hmm. So gold is high. And getting back to our first point, it, it's really a measure of the risk. And I think risk is still very much on. And it's compounded by the sort of Western behavior, all the free money, and, uh, and also the use of the dollar as a mm -hmm. weapon. So there's a whole lot of debate going around currencies, global transactions, etc. So. And we're a gold company. Um, what we have recognized is the importance to be, remain a high quality, growing gold company. We need to migrate into big porphyry deposits which come with copper, like Rikadik in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And so we are guiding, we should be 30% uh, of our business um, will be copper by the end of the decade. And, and it might be very much more. Yeah. on the bottom line because, you know, the, of the copper, copper price. Because copper is going to run out uh, yeah. with uh, as far if you th believe in the forecast growth so, in copper, and I do. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like for the energy transition, you got to have a lot of copper. In the very short term, though, Mark, um, it was pretty dismal trade data out of China. Copper's getting hit really hard today. Can you, what is your take on China right now? So I think the, the, the point is that we're not going to see China go back to where it was. It's a, it's a very big component of the global economy. It's a consumer of all metals. But also, I think we've got to be minded by the fact that if we're going to build a better world for everyone, we need to invest in development so all metals are important. Copper is the most strategic of all those metals. Uh, whatever you do, if you want to green the world, green the grids, 
build, uh, you know, industrialize in a more modern, uh, more uh, sort of user-friendly way, copper is a, a key metal, and we don't have enough of it defined in our minds today. So that's really uh, important. Um, what we have, and I'll, I'll come back to your first question, Guy, but uh, what we have is real organic growth. So Barrick lo is looking to grow its gold equivalent, so including copper, yeah. by 25% by the end of this decade, organically. Of course, every time somebody thinks of a potential transaction, everyone brings up yeah. Barrick. So, you know, My, it's Bob, something I, I've got yeah, used to. Used to. Mark, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you speaking, and it sounds like you've got money burning a hole in your pocket. It sounds like you're getting ready to do a deal. I, you're shaking your head, but 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 that's what I'm hearing from what you're saying. I can understand why people, when they think M and A, think Barrack. If this is the way you speak. Oh uh, God, you know you've known me for so long. Um, I'm a, I'm very careful and cautious yeah. uh, about how you build businesses in this market and and to do big m a you need currency you need market support it's not something mm -hmm. you wake up as a ceo and sort of lob it on the table so and and you saw me manage the barrack merger that yeah. was a long haul and you were part of that um so you know this is not a short-term ga uh, game and and right now the 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 are only a handful of pure copper plays and everyone's looking at them and the big dilemma is the big guys the really big guys would love that copper but mm -hmm. you know shareholders don't want that copper to disappear under the umbrella of iron ore um and so you know there's a, a real uh, support uh, yeah. in the market of these pure copper plays and and we've got to balance the the opportunity to find and develop our own and you know take the uh, the uh, the opportunity if it arises to be able to m merge or, yeah. or or combine businesses and that's we're not there yet Mark, not Barrick, anyway. If, if interest rates were lower <laughs> you got like 30 seconds if interest rates are lower and the cost of capital was lower would this change your mind no no, but that was the shortest answer I think I've ever heard you say. Uh, what, what, what would you rather do, build your own mind or buy? Build or buy? Build makes build. real value, creates real value.